Hello and welcome to Insurance World TV, your premier insurance education channel. Today we're going to discuss a very important topic for new parents, the vaccine timetable for your baby. Using the guidelines from the Kenya Expanded Program on Immunization, or KEPI, will outline the various vaccines and the appropriate ages at which they should be administered. This information will help you ensure your child receives the necessary protection against serious diseases. Let's get started. Immunizing your child is one of the most important things you can do to protect their health. Kepi has established a clear schedule for vaccines to be administered at specific ages. Here's a detailed look at the vaccine timetable. At birth, your baby should receive the following vaccines. 1. BCG or Bacillus calmet Guerin in full. This vaccine protects against tuberculosis or TB. 2. The first dose of OPV0 or oral polio vaccine 0. This initial dose of the polio vaccine helps protect against poliomyelitis. Administering these vaccines at birth helps ensure early protection against these serious diseases. At six weeks of age, your baby should receive the following vaccines. One, pentavalent vaccine one. This combination vaccine protects against diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, also known as whooping cough, hepatitis B, and haemophilus influenzae type B, or Hib. Two, OPV1 or oral polio vaccine. One, this dose continues protection against poliomyelitis. 3. PCV1 or pneumococcal conjugate vaccine. 1. This vaccine protects against pneumococcal diseases such as pneumonia, meningitis, and sepsis. 4. Rotavirus vaccine. 1. This vaccine helps protect against rotavirus infections, which can cause severe diarrhea in infants. These vaccines are critical in providing early protection and preventing infections. At 10 weeks, your baby should receive first the pentavalent vaccine 2, which is the second dose of the combination vaccine for diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis, hepatitis B, and Hib. Next, OPV2, the second dose of the oral polio vaccine. And lastly, PCV2, the second dose of the pneumococcal vaccine. These follow-up doses ensure continued protection as your baby grows. At 14 weeks, your baby should receive first the pentavalent vaccine 3, which is the third and final dose of the combination vaccine. Next, OPV3, the third dose of the oral polio vaccine. Then, PCV3, the third dose of the pneumococcal vaccine. And finally, the rotavirus vaccine 2, the second dose of the rotavirus vaccine. Completing these series of vaccines ensures your child has robust protection against these diseases. At nine months, your baby should receive one, the measles vaccine. This vaccine protects against measles, a highly contagious viral infection. Two, the yellow fever vaccine. This vaccine protects against yellow fever, a viral hemorrhagic disease. These vaccines are crucial in protecting your child from serious viral infections. At 12 months, your child should receive one, the MMR, measles, mumps, rubella, vaccine. This combined vaccine protects against measles, mumps, and rubella. Two, the varicella, chickenpox, vaccine. This vaccine protects against chickenpox. These vaccines provide additional protection against common childhood diseases. In summary, adhering to this vaccine timetable is essential for ensuring your child's health and well-being. These vaccines provided under the KEPI guidelines offer critical protection against many serious diseases. As new parents, keeping up with this schedule will help give your, your child the best start in life. In our next video, we will look at vaccines administered from one year onwards. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to our channel for more informative content on insurance, including health insurance, Stay informed and keep your baby safe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content on health and parenting. 
Stay healthy and stay informed.